Mr. Zeems was a barrister in New South Wales. In 1955, he appeared in court in Newcastle and then had some drinks in a bar while organising a room for the night. He saw two drunk merchant sailors throwing bottles of beer and using disgusting language towards two young ladies. Gallantly, but stupidly, Mr. Zeems intervened. He was still getting beaten up when the police sergeant arrived and arrested the sailors. He asked Mr. Zeems to remain in the hotel until he could be taken to hospital. But when the officer finished dealing with the sailors, Mr. Zeems had already gone. He drove his own car and was on the wrong side of the road when he collided head-on with a motorcyclist who died. At the inquest, the police sergeant testified that Mr. Zeems had suffered heavy blows to the head, which is why he'd needed to go to the hospital. The prosecution didn't call that police officer at the criminal trial. The defence called him, but the evidence about the head injury was never properly given. The prosecutors claimed that Mr. Zeems was on the wrong side of the road because he was drunk. The jury accepted this and Mr. Zeems was imprisoned for two years. He was then struck off the role of barristers. He appealed against that decision and his appeal came before the High Court. A couple of the judges were steadfast. Someone imprisoned for manslaughter must be struck off. The majority, however, felt otherwise. They could not undo the criminal conviction or the jail time, but they were unconvinced about the verdict because considering the evidence before the coroner, evidence unavailable to the jury, it really was possible that Mr. Zeems drove the way he did because of head injuries, not intoxication. Justice Fuligar said the appellant's defence was that his actual condition had been brought about not by excessive drinking, but by savage blows on the head. That the act which caused the death was not really a voluntary act, and that it was deprived of voluntariness not by excessive drinking, but by concussion and cerebral disturbance resulting from physical violence which he had suffered. There was evidence to support this defence. This case establishes that a concussion or head injury might well cause a person not to be in command of their own conduct, in which case they cannot be criminally responsible for that conduct. Mm -hmm.